We're continuing to talk about how Jehoshaphat faced a vast army that came against him, and I want to give you a third principle in that regard today. Second Chronicles says that in chapter 20 and verse 3 Je that Jehoshaphat set himself to seek the Lord. So the third thing that you and I can do to face our enemy is to take our problems to the Lord. In the midst of his crisis, the Bible says that that's what Jehoshaphat did. He set himself to seek the Lord and he proclaimed a fast. You know, prayer is often the last thing we think of. Why is that? Well, because we want uh, to work our problems out on our own. A deacon approached uh, a pastor one day and he said, Pastor, we've got a problem we can't solve. We've tried everything and nothing works. The pastor said, well, I guess all we can do is pray about it. Well, the deacon replied to the pastor and said, Pastor, has it really come to that? You know, when you're facing life's battles, prayer should be your first resort, not your last. And sometimes when the problem doesn't yield to prayer alone, well, God leads you to add a second element like Jehoshaphat did, and that is uh, fasting. Have you ever tried that? Fasting isn't something mystical and mysterious. It's really about focus. It's saying, Lord, I can do without food and other things, but I can't solve this problem without you. So instead of eating, I'm going to spend time seeking your face until I have an answer. Cornelius, a, a Gentile, fasted and prayed for four days asking God for direction. As a result, God sent Peter to his house to preach the gospel to this Gentile and in the process changed the course of history. You can read that story in Acts chapter 10. In order to know whom to appoint to leadership positions, the New Testament church fasted and prayed, and they asked God for guidance. And as a result, one of the most dynamic evangelistic teams of all time, Paul and Barnabas, were born. That's in Acts chapter 13. So when you get serious enough to fast and pray about your problem, well, God will show you the solution. Are you that serious about your circumstances? I'm Ray Jones. And that's another heart truth for your day.